What's going on guys? It's D Lynch coming at you guys with another lesson. Uh, today I wanted to talk about playlisting because playlisting is the single biggest component to Spotify's algorithm. Um, it's kind of how Spotify decides whether or not they want to push this record. Um, even, even old records really. I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, it, it's when you're releasing a song, this is probably the most important thing, at least for Spotify's algorithm, when you are promoting your song. Um, as you guys can see here, a huge chunk of my streams in the last month come from Spotify's algorithm. Right here, algorithmic. These are the playlists, right? So, I mean, a huge chunk. I mean, you got 71,000 on radio... Uh, so on and so forth. So actually, radio has really taken up the majority of my monthly streams. Um, in the last 28 days, I have been on 9,000 playlists. Uh, we'll go to 2015. You can even still see here. I mean, the algorithm is responsible for a massive portion of my streams. And we've got about 195,000 streams in the last 28 days. It's very, very important, and it's really, really easy to do. It's just, you know, it takes consistency, and it just takes a little bit of elbow grease. Um, first things first, so when you have a release, and you're getting ready to release it on all the platforms, what you want to do is you log into your Spotify for Artists account. If you don't have one, we talked about that in another lesson. You can go back and kind of walk you through on how to get that all set up and how to use it to its fullest potential. Uh, but when you are in your account, you'll want to come over here to the music tab. And then when you have the music tab open, you're going to click upcoming. I don't have anything here. Um, but I did find a picture for you guys of what it looks like when you have something here. So when Spotify has your new release, it'll be right here in this tab. It'll look just like this. Uh, it looks like they have another number of releases, but you know same idea you'll click uh, submit a song you'll see it you'll it'll walk you through it's very self-explanatory it's very very easy to do uh, the only thing that could be a little bit confusing is they ask you for the moods ask you what kind of instruments are in it you really don't need to worry about that in my experience that has uh, done absolutely nothing f in terms of playlisting um, but just make sure you get the all the information's right right genre all of that that's the most important thing you go ahead and submit that that is what you will need to do you need to do that to get into release radar which is a big deal everybody that follows you is going to get that in the release radar if that does well with the people that follow you spotify will push it to more people you'll get on more things like radio discover weekly daily mix etc etc uh, you might get into some editorial playlists the more traction you can get on it, the more likely that is to happen. What you can do beyond that, and this is a big thing that I use, is a website called Submit Hub, and this helps you get the traction that Spotify then can work and do their thing on their end. Uh, it's called SubmitHub.com. Like I said, this is one of the accounts that I use to help push my music when I'm getting ready to release something new. Um, it is a bit of a competitive website, but, you know, we're in a competitive industry, so, like I said, it just takes a lot of work, elbow grease, consistency, all that. When you're in, when you make an account and you're in the dashboard, it looks like this. You'll see this tab that says, submit a song, hot or not. Now, you can submit to playlisters, record labels, they work with a number of major labels, indie labels, etc., uh, Twitch streamers social media influencers, all kinds of things. Um, I really just focus on playlisting, but if you want to go beyond that, this is a pretty cool place to find people to collaborate with in those other regards as well. You'll go ahead and click Submit a Song. I already have some songs uploaded. Obviously, you'll upload a new song, fill out the details. Uh, we're not going to do that right now. We're actually going to use a song I from a campaign I've already done. So when your song is uploaded, this is what you'll see. What do you want to send your music to? Curators, influencers, record labels. We're going to go with curators for right now because we're talking about playlisting. So we're going to click that. We're going to click submit. And you get two options here. You get premium and you get standard. Premium, obviously, is what it sounds like. 
you pay for a certain amount of credits um, you're guaranteed a response within 48 hours your submission filters go to the top they have to listen to your submission and they have to give you at least 10 words feedback standards completely free use two credits you get a two credits every uh, four hours it says right there <laughs> um, no guarantee of response or feedback it's kind of up to you what you want to do um, I would personally recommend you start off with standard and then maybe go premium at the same time if you're unwilling to take the gamble and you might not get any response or feedback you, the credits are very very cheap they're, they're really not expensive but I'll leave that up to you guys also the quality unfortunately premium sometimes is a bit better um, but there's still some good ones on the free ones so this is actually new to me I have not seen this before this is uh, what kind of feedback would you like if the curator does not want to share your song, we ex ask them to explain why. You can either go no feedback, please be gentle, specific, and honest. This is new. I've actually never seen this that part before. Uh, this is not. The permissions and copyright, basically, can they use your music for their own purposes? Um, totally up to you guys. You guys can go ahead and select the moods. If you want to select the moods, click next. And then you get a list of curators here. And they're very specific in terms of their genre, their quality engagement. They'll tell you on the website, you know, because we can give them feedback too. So then you can check their reviews, uh, see how often they post, how many listeners they actually get. Because it's very important, which is a big thing why I recommend people stay away from companies that sell playlisting. Um, because you could pay for a playlist that nobody listens to. I like Submit Hub because you can actually see... The, each curator's playlist, how many monthly listens they get, how often they accept music on there. Um, some of these curators have a very small acceptance rate, which I tend to go for those because you could. It just shows me that they actually care and they take time to actually curate it. It's just not a money grab for them, you know. They actually care about what they're doing. So you can kind of just go through this and look this again this isn't premium uh, like I said premium is a bit better in terms of quality there are some good ones in free you just again you have to kind of just go through what you see on here in terms of your genre match your quality the engagement um, vet all of them before you submit to anybody just vet them especially if you guys are gonna go ahead and pay for credits you know uh, just make sure it's a good match for one their playlist a good match for you um, make sure they're actually consistently playlisting people that they're actually getting streams a good amount of streams every month um, and then you know just be consistent at this yourself it's a little bit of work but it's it can really pay off you know I do this every time I have a new song coming out I'll spend uh, at least a couple hours a day just kind of submitting to different playlists um, there's multiple websites you can use that do the same thing but I like submit hub submit hum is the main one that I use spend a little bit of time every day submitting your song you know if you get some no's don't be discouraged you'll get more no's than you get yeses but the yeses can really make a big difference I mean I've shown you guys before and I'm showing you guys my data now you know, playlisting and the algorithm is responsible for a huge, huge, huge portion of my streams. And, you know, we're talking um, about 12 million streams since 2015. And a lot of it has been through playlisting. So I hope this helps. Uh, again, you guys feel free to reach out if you guys have any questions. If you're not really sure how things work, you, you know, just, if you just want to check in, whatever it might be. Um, I really hope this helps you guys get at that, get those streams, get that money. Take care, guys.